Alex. Who are you? Oh, my, what a piece of luck. I'm looking for my son. You wouldn't have to know where he is, would you, Fiona? Uh, I, I, I think you should go somewhere more private. Do, do, do you have a... No, name? not for a lying cheat of a wife. No, I don't, actually. How dare you? How dare you get involved with my son? I mean, you're meant to be a teacher, a, a pillar of society. We're meant to be friends, Fiona, for goodness sake. Oh, no, you just stand there like butter wouldn't melt in your... Oh, hello. Tom. I was just, um, well, just chatting with your mum about her, um, after-school activities. What makes you think you can publicly humiliate people, huh? Funnily enough, my mum's life isn't defined by sex like some people. And my dad, he's in Spain trying to keep us together, not split us up. So don't confuse your sordid little life with ours, all right? <laughs> I just wanted a word about earlier. I, I heard what my mum said to fit yours. Yeah, well, it's not like she needs stress right now, is it? Yeah, there isn't any truth in it, though, is there? I, I mean, people talk and... Well, she's a popular teacher. Why did you tell her like that? I mean, Fiona's done nothing to you. Look, I just wanted to protect you, love, that's all. <laughs> no, you didn't. You did it because you're jealous. Because you're trying to take out your problems with lover boy on me. But I thought you'd be glad I'd gone for someone with so much in common with you. I mean, I'm blonde, funny, loving. Excuse me, don't you ever compare that woman with me? Well, I mean, <laughs> slightly different. I mean, she's a teacher and you're a hairdresser. Oh, yeah, she's a teacher, all right. We'll know what sort of lessons she likes to hand out. Come here. It's you, isn't it, making stuff up about my mum? Tell Tom, you know your mum's tops. You've always been obsessing about her and has probably finally sunk in that you're never ever going to have her, so he's making stuff up. Look, Tom, I don't need this. Oh, I am down with the older woman stuff. I knew it! From now on, just stay away from my mum and stay away from me, all right? Yeah? Mum? Mum? Found out who the culprit is. Nothing malicious, just Jimmy being his usual self. Good. Great, thank you. Right, um, no, I'm fine. That's cool. I'll see you at, uh, half past two in about two days then. Great. Thank you. Bye. Tom, can we please just talk this through? Well, what's changed, huh? Yesterday you were quite happy for me to do all the talking, weren't you? Defending you to Roxanne while the whole time you were... Oh, Dennis, of all people. I didn't choose him, Tom. It just happened. Just like my dad just happened to get packed off to Spain, you mean? It's not like that. Things haven't been right between your dad and I for a long time. Look, Tom, I know it's hard to get your head around all of this, but... Your dad and I... We're different. We're not the same as we were before. But Dennis! Tom... You know, sometimes... The world seems to be saying that something isn't right. But if you know inside that it is... Shouldn't you stand up and fight for it? Look, I don't want to spend the rest of my life being normal if being normal means being unhappy. I know this might seem crazy, but I thought you of all people might understand. You held Dennis when he was a baby, Mum. Does that seem right to you? Well, it takes more than a name to change. So you better start changing properly, or you'll drive us all away. Alex doesn't want me. It was always you, and you have to remember that. I'm glad I've gone for someone with so much in common with you. I mean, blonde, funny, loving. Oh, Whoa. I didn't mean to scare you. Look, I know what you must think, but I'm not using Dennis. I, I care about him, and I, and I, and I haven't done any of this to hurt you. Well, I suppose I was, um, I was being a bit overprotective, wasn't I? Yeah, of course you were. <sighs> Friends? Um, why don't I treat you to a freestyle? <laughs> Lovely. That's a water temperature. Fine. Oh, I'm so relieved that you're okay about Dennis and me. <sighs> and now? Fine. Now. Ow! Ow! Oh, sorry, darling, I just want to be accident prone. 
home today and look just don't have to pay me all right oh just one last thing and i'll be out of your hair strange isn't it they mate and then straight away they die almost like a punishment right into your head nice to see you care I thought I'd lost you after this morning. I think I understand what you meant now. Never understand why, but you're right about one thing. What's that? We should be able to make our own decisions. I mean, other people may not like it, but we can't let them rule our lives, can we? Choice is about being free. Tom Brake, you never stop surprising me. Tom, what are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Tom! But why did you do it? What, do you like it? I don't mean you. Oh, and whose hair would we be talking about then? You know who I mean. Who? Never mind. I know what it's like when people don't take you seriously because of how you seem. People think I'm a freak. That's why I'm thinking of having surgery. What do you mean? I'm having cosmetic surgery. That's how much I fit into venom. My mum thinks it's for a nose job, but it's worse. No. Is it that big? I shouldn't have told you. But that's wrong, Tom. You should be happy with the way that you are. That's what being free is about, isn't it? Making the right choices. But the ones that you decide are right. Not the ones that are put on you. All right, what do you want? Just a little bit of help with a small favour. Thomas Brake. Thomas Brake? And what crime has he committed? Indecent exposure. Oh, it did make my stomach turn. What on earth do you think you're doing? You know what this means, Thomas. And may I say, I never in my darkest nightmares thought I would be doing this to you now. On the count of indecent exposure, guilty. Indecent exposure? Come on, I had my flies undone. It was an accident, you know It that. was an incident, Tom. You've just reeled out the same excuses of many a weak man. Vandalising property, releasing insects, perverting authority. Vandalising property when you're the one ripping pages out of books. Is this true? Oh, you Philistine. They were perverted, as is he, and I say that he goes. Don't you agree with me, Miss Colgren? And Frankie, what do you think? Do you think I should go? years surely i can persuade the governors to let you back in i don't want to go back i want to sit and watch fat americans fighting and freaks and loners like me tom why do you always say things like that you're always putting yourself down it's not something i can help yeah well it's gonna be okay without you having to change yourself well, like when dad comes home how's that gonna help her huh? look tom i don't have the answers to everything but take it from someone who knows surgery is not the way yeah, and Pinocchio doesn't varnish his nose. Look, you sign the consent forms. I'm having it done today. Ugh. Today, the snake will die. What do you want? Nothing. Just feeling really, really happy, you know? I need nothing to make me more complete. You were meant to feel less than whole. I know, but I am whole, aren't I? Everything you see here and even the things you don't, they're all Tom Brake, man. Yeah. You haven't had the operation, have you? Uh no. Well, why am I going to lose something I haven't had a chance to put to good use? I'm so glad you saw sense. Me too. I, I, I know that your dad and I have got problems, but it's nothing to do with you. You carve out a future, do with yourself what you will, but you should never hate yourself for being who you are. I know. Good. Well, then you should go and tell Miss Culgaron that you want to go back to school. You'll have hardly missed any classes at all. Why are you packing? I've made three decisions. No to surgery, no to school, and no to living here. But why? 
Because truth does not come at convenience, Mum. When Dad gets back, every day is going to start off as a lie, and I'm not going to live like that. But what am I going to tell your father? Tell him what you like. I'm not going to be around to back you up. If you want me, I'll be at the halfway house. But how about this is a wacky and novel idea? Why don't you tell him the truth? <sighs> this is just a short-term thing till your dad gets back and you sort out whatever problem you've got. Sure. Steph. Whatever you say. Your mum said you'd be here. Yeah. She ain't half sad. I had to fly the nest, didn't I? <laughs>